here in the studio as what's going on youtube welcome back to the madden ballers youtube channel and our georgia state dynasty last time we saw the panthers two weeks ago they were opening up the season at home in the georgia dome against colorado state and they came away with a hard fought victory 30 to 10 in their first year in the sec this week, week three, they're at home again, taking on the West Virginia Mountaineers. Can the Panthers get another victory? We'll find out next. West Virginia is going to get the ball first, and this is one guy we're going to look out for, running back Jonathan Hammond. Five touchdowns, 173 yards on 28 carries last week. And what can he do this week as Cook on first and 10 will fire and incomplete. His receiver cannot hang on. Be second down and 10 now for the Mountaineers here. Cook back to pass again and again. It is dropped by his receiver. That will set up third down. Third and 10 from the 31. Cook back to pass here. He's pressured and he goes down. Sacked. And that will lead to a punt as we take another look at this sack. Pretty much unblocked. And it was take it. he was taken down. Panthers take over now for the first time. Hand off to Anthony Gross. And he's going nowhere. Only a gain of one. Second and nine now for Georgia State. Smith under center will drop back to pass. A quick pass is broken up by J.J. Thomas, and the Panthers have third down and nine. Under center, Smith will take the snap, drop back to pass, and his pass will fall incomplete as he was hit as he threw, and both these teams open up with a three and out. West Virginia now with their second possession, second and inches. Cook's pass is caught by Reynolds, and he makes his way up to the 35-yard line, giving the Mountaineers a first down. First and 10. Cook will keep it on the read option. Up the middle here, first down and more into Georgia State territory. Second and 10 now for the Mountaineers. Handoff to Hammond. That's the running back we were talking about, and he goes for 12, and a Mountaineers first down. Second and nine now for West Virginia. Cook back to pass here. He fires. It's caught by Stanley. And Stanley's got a first down. And the drive will continue for West Virginia. Third and one now. Cook hands off to Hammond up the middle. He's got the open field. He's got the end zone, but he fumbles. And it's picked up by Hendricks. And Georgia State takes over at the 20. Third down and 10 for the Panthers. Smith steps up in the pocket, fires the sideline, and it's broken up incomplete. And the Panthers will have to punt. They cannot get anything off the turnover. Fourth and 10 in the ensuing punt here. Back to catch it, and it is fumbled by West Virginia. Picked up by Georgia State. So within a matter of moments, Georgia State has recovered two fumbles. They take over at midfield, third and three. Hand off to Anthony Gross up the middle. He will go for 12 and a first down. Third down and eight now for Georgia State. Smith drops back to pass here. Fires caught by Frazier, our new tight end, one of our two new tight ends. He's got a first down for Georgia State. First and 10. Hand off to Stephen Leach. He gets outside. Juke move. First down and he will hit the end zone. Touchdown. Panthers and Stephen Leach puts the Georgia State Panthers ahead 7-0 here in the first quarter. We have our first studio update. Number 12, Alabama beats Western Michigan 30-27. We will be facing Alabama next week to open up SEC play. West Virginia takes over now, second and five. Cook's pass is lobbed up there, and it's caught by Rod Keller for nine yards and a first down. Second and 14 now for the Mountaineers. Hand off to Hammond. He gets outside here. Nice blocking. He's got the first down and more pass midfield. Inside the 30, taken down at the 25-yard line. 
and West Virginia will be in scoring position as we end the first quarter. Georgia State on top, 7 to nothing. West Virginia driving as we start the second quarter. First and 10 from the Georgia State 25. Cook back to pass, and he is sacked for a loss of eight yards on the play. Later on, it's third and nine. Cook, empty backfield set, will look to pass, dump it off to Ball. Ball will break a tackle and get the first down. 11 yard gain. First and 10 now inside the 15. Cook, looking to pass here, dumps it off to Slaughter. Brent Slaughter, maybe the cousin brother of Ryan Slaughter who we faced in the Sun Belt Conference. Third and one now, Cook hands off to Hammond up the middle and Hammond finds the end zone, touchdown West Virginia and the Mountaineers tie this game up at seven apiece. Georgia State takes over now for the first time in the second quarter. Steve Smith keeps it on the read option and he'll end up gaining 10 yards and a first down. Third and eight now for Georgia State. Out of the shotgun, Smith will look to pass. He'll fire it deep and caught by Luther Madison. 14 yards and another Georgia State first down. Very next play from the shotgun. Smith going to fire deep again. Caught by Luther Madison again. 22 yards on that catch and Georgia State is into Mountaineer territory. Second and inches now, handoff goes to Anthony Gross, up the middle, juke move, and he makes his way down to the 10-yard line. First and 10, Georgia State. On first down, handoff to Gross, up the middle, and he's hit hard down at the one, but he picks up the first down. It'll be first and goal, Georgia State. Smith from under center will look to pass here. He's got some good blocking fires. Caught by Trevor Phillips, one yard for the touchdown and Georgia State retakes the lead 14 to seven. The Mountaineers take over now, down by a touchdown first and 10, hand off to Hammond up the middle. He will go for the first down on a 13 yard carry. Second and 10 now for the Mountaineers from the shotgun. Cook will keep it on the read option and he's dragged down for a one yard loss on the play by Jarvis Hall. Third and 11 now for the Mountaineers. Out of the shotgun, Cook looking to pass. He's going to step up, fire this one outside. It's picked off by Georgia State. Ben Wood with the interception, and Georgia State has their third takeaway of the first half, and they take over inside the 40 of West Virginia. First and 10, Smith fires deep, caught by Luther Madison, taken down after a first down catch and a face mask penalty. Sets him up inside the 10. First and goal, option play, pitched out to Gross, loses three yards. Second down goal now, Smith under center will look to pass here. He's going to step up, fire, and caught by Trevor Phillips in the end zone for the touchdown, his second one of the quarter, and Georgia State takes a 21-7 lead into halftime. Georgia State has a two touchdown lead and the ball to start the second half. Second and seven handoff to Gross and he's stuffed in the backfield for a five yard loss. Looking at the halftime stats, both these offenses pretty balanced but not putting up a lot of yards. And Anthony Gross down on the field after that play is injured. Though I believe it is a minor injury. Third and 12, Smith gonna pump fake. Fire as he's hit, and it is incomplete. Broken up by Andy Carroll, and the Panthers will punt. The Mountaineers take over now. Down by two touchdowns. Ingram with the carry, and he is gonna go down in the backfield. A loss of four. Terrence Pruitt with the tackle, and it's a strained quadricep for Anthony Gross. We'll substitute Steven Leach in for the moment. Third and seven for the Mountaineers. Ingram in at quarterback, he's throwing deep. And that one's incomplete. Not sure what happened to Cook. But the Mountaineers have fourth down and they punt. Georgia State takes over now. Smith back to pass, going deep to the sideline. Caught by Luther Madison, 31 yards on the pitch and catch. And that gets them into West Virginia territory. First and 10, Smith going deep again and again. Caught this time by Trevor Phillips inside the 10. That will set up first and goal. Georgia State from the eight. Handoff goes to Leach up the middle. He's wrapped up after a gain of two. 
Second down and goal. Smith under center. Hands off to Gross, who's back in the game, and he makes his way down to the one. Wow, cannot believe they didn't give him that touchdown. Third and goal, pitched out to Gross, and he'll be stuffed for a loss of three on the play, and Georgia State's gonna have to settle for a field goal, make it 24 to seven. As the Mountaineers take over, Hammond up the middle, will pick up the first down. He's got over 100 yards rushing today, I believe. First and 10, Ingram hands off to Hammond up the middle, and Hammond will go for nine. And it'll be third and four on this drive now for the Mountaineers. Ingram back to pass here, fires over the middle, caught by Rod Keller, 11 yards and a first down. First and 10 now for the Mountaineers. Ingram hands off to Hammond up the middle. He's got the first down and more, fights his way down to the nine yard line first and goal west virginia and hammond will get the handoff and he will be stopped for no gain on the play second down and goal now ingram back to pass here will dump it off to ball and he will gain six but not the end zone third and goal now for West Virginia Ingram keeps it on the read option. He's going to try to fight his way to the end zone, but he's stopped in the backfield for a two-yard loss. And West Virginia settles for a field goal to make it 24-10 to at the end of three. Georgia State enjoys a 14-point lead as we enter the fourth and final quarter, second and eight, and Steve Smith will be thrown to the ground for a six-yard loss on the sack by Rocky Barber. Third and 14 now, Smith back to pass, will step up, fire, and caught by Phillips. He's got two touchdowns and some big catches in this game, another one giving the Panthers a first down. Empty backfield set now on third and 10. Smith scrambling around the pocket, trying to find somewhere to go, but he cannot, and he's sacked for a loss of four, and the Panthers punt. West Virginia takes over now, hand off to Hammond. He's going to fight his way for a seven yard gain. Keep those legs churning. Second and three now for the Mountaineers. Hand off to Hammond outside. He's got the first down and more down the sideline. A gain of 15 on the carry. First and 10 now in Georgia State territory. Cook back in the game at quarterback. Handoff to Hammond up the middle, and he goes for 17. He's just absolutely killing this defense on the ground. Third and three now. Cook will keep it on the read option. He's got the first down inside the five. He'll be first and goal West Virginia from the four. In the shotgun, Cook hands off to Hammond up the middle, and he gains one. Second down and goal now. Cook hands off to Hammond again up the middle, and this time he loses two, stopped in the backfield. Third down and goal now for West Virginia. Cook hands off to Hammond, goes outside, and he gets the end zone for the touchdown. His second touchdown on the day, and West Virginia climbs within one touchdown as the Panthers take over now, third and one, just trying to run some clock. Steven Leach looked like he was stopped in the backfield, but a second win gets him the first down. And it'll be third and five now with just under two to go. Smith will roll out to his left, fire, and it's caught by Trevor Phillips. Another big grab by Trevor Phillips, and that one will seal it. Georgia State can run out the clock from there. Trevor Phillips, your player of the game, five catches, 79 yards, two touchdowns on the day, and Georgia State gets the victory 24 to 17 over West Virginia. Taking a look at scores from other games around the country this week, number one, Ohio State beats Northwestern 31 to 20. Number 15, Wisconsin goes down to Wyoming. Looking at the stats from our game, Georgia State 202 through the air and three takeaways that led the way in this game. Players of the game, Trevor Phillips on offense, Thomas Hendricks on defense, eight tackles, one for a loss, and a fumble recovery on the day. And Georgia State actually moves back in the coaches poll from three to four, 
Leapfrog by Notre Dame, or was it Michigan? I don't know which one. I think it was Michigan, actually. Coming up in the next episode, Georgia, Georgia State opens up SEC play on the road against number eight Alabama. Both these teams come in at 2-0. Can Georgia State get the big road victory? They played at Bama before on the road. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Oh,